Everyone's ready. Oh, Just man. like that, this tag team match is underway. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in oh. tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Butterfly lock is applied. Ooh, bad landing. Ah, oh, look at look at this backbreaker. Followed up with a boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She's starting to take a beating. This is not how she drew this one up. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much. But hey, crazier things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth, 2016, is a perfect example of that. Fist has been dropped. Beautiful technique. Larian. She's on the defensive now. Ouch. At this point, it's fair to wonder how much more she has to give here tonight. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's no way she can win this thing unless she starts getting her act together here. I think she should stay down. You gotta believe this one's over. Harsh impact. She's getting trounced now. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. That's over at this point. Normally I'm a glass half full kind of guy, but there's just no good to take from this for her. Yikes. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have... Ooh, what a jawbreaker. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Jeez, I felt that one over here. Nailed it. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Look at this. She lets her out. She better have a good reason for this, Cole, because she just had her seconds away from tapping. I think. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh, what a boot! Almost just a look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Elbow finds its mark. I think she's trying to prove oh. a point here. Victory is on the horizon. More often than not, that marks the end. And a pin attempt. And there's the kick out. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. starting to feel the pressure. She's starting to feel the pressure here, fellas. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. She's no pushover, though, guys. If she's going down, she's going to go down swinging. What a stomp. Good grief. a nasty headbutt and she drops her that was about as in your face as it gets she comes up big with a reversal she 
She's starting to stagger a bit. She's wow. going to have to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. This could be trouble, guys. This may very well be the opening her opponent was looking for. Jeez. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. A knee drop! Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at her go. What a strike. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. You have to wonder how much more she has left in the tank. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. Well, uh, she's been able to stay close to her opponent throughout this entire match, but this might just be where her luck runs out. Power bomb. She has got to take advantage here. She's got something in mind. She's looking at it. <laughs> this one's over, guys. Let's take a look at the replay. That's highlight real material right there. Going for the cover. Load over. Oh, and it. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. These women put on quite a show. Here's another look. I just love it when the women put on a show like that one. You can see right here the moments that made this match a great one. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here are your winners, Brenda Ross and the Warrior Princess. You heard the ring announcer, this one's over. And here's your winner. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael. Folks, you're just tuning in.